Johor DAP Chief Yu Chin Tong has rebutted Transport Minister Wee Ka Siong's claim that the Pakatan Harapan government was anti-public transport, providing a list of its contributions to the sector when it was in power. Yu said PH placed public transport under the purview of the Transport Ministry, pointing out that it was previously under the Prime Minister's Department or the Entrepreneur Development Ministry. He was referring to the Land Public Transport Commission, which was set up by the Barisan National Government and then replaced by the Land Public Transport Agency in 2018, when PH was in power. He said taxi and bus licences were dished out to Amno cronies, while successive transport ministers from MCA had no role in shaping public transport policy. Placing public transport under the Transport Ministry meant that PH took politics and cronyism out of the sector, he said. Liu also said the My 50 and My 100 Unlimited Travel Pass programs, introduced by former Transport Minister Lok Siu Fo, were popular enough that it was continued during former Prime Minister Muhyiddin Yassin and current Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob's administration. He also said Lok was instrumental in negotiating the rapid transit system project and keeping costs down. The Perling Assemblyman also pointed out several issues which have been detrimental to public transport since we took over the transport portfolio. You said these included the decrease of rapid KL buses in operation from 1,000 to 400 a day, the stalling of the Klang Valley Double Tracking 2 project and the reduction of the interim stage bus support fund. He also told we to be calm and cool and to discuss the matter of public transport and traffic congestion in a professional and rational manner.